This is Brian Kablaka with LearnToGrapple.com. Technique we're going to be looking at today is a knee over, leg on shoulder, guard pass. So the beginning of Derek's guard, as with all guard passes, wide base, feet flat, sitting on my heels. I'm going to find his ribs, making sure there's about a 45 degree angle between my arm and my torso. I'm going to take one leg, move it out to the side, put my other knee in the center, creating a wedge to open his guard. Immediately I'm going to pin his one leg down, hook the other leg on my shoulder. I like to pin with the forearm, some people like to pin with the hand, I just find that it gives me more control. Immediately, my right knee is going to come inside my arm. My knee goes to the ground. My instep stays hooked behind his hamstring. This is done so that he can't close a half guard on me, so he can't entangle this leg. I then come around his head. I like to hook his lat and lower my level. Nice and close, almost chest to chest. At this point, I'm going to extend my leg out, reach my leg over. I'll fold my instep off followed immediately by my knee coming in and my shoulder dropping. In step off, knee in, shoulder dropping. I then remove my arm from the legs and block the hips. At this point, as we start creating pressure, I'm working from the side. A few important details. The first is that I always want to make sure that I hook the leg first, or sorry, that I pin the leg first and hook the leg second. A lot of novice grapplers will go to the hook first, yes, allowing for a triangle choke. So always ensure that you pin first, hook second. The next thing is, a lot of people will confuse what leg. If I come here, I'm kind of getting my own way. If I was going to cut this knee across, I wouldn't want the leg, I would want to just come across with the arm. So always make sure whatever arm you're pinning with, that's the leg you're slicing. And then finally, you want to make sure that you go in the correct order. Meaning, sometimes people will let go of this too early and then this leg will trap them. I don't want to release my right foot until I've cleared out. After I release and drive in, I also don't like saying here, one of my students has a very slick reverse triangle, he'll throw this leg over my head. Yes, I think they catch me here. So something I like doing is I like throwing the legs. Throwing the legs away has dual purpose. The first reason is that it makes the triangle more difficult. But the second thing is, it makes his shrimp harder. The shrimp is the likely motion he's going to make to recover. And if we look at the shrimp, it's chest towards me, hips away. The legs have the face. So he's turned this way. When I throw the legs, now it reverses. It takes them an extra second to come back to center. And then that's the time I'm going to take to secure side control. So one more time from the beginning. And that's our knee over, leg on shoulder, guard pass. 